black too? All right, so we got one, two, three people that say black. He said he Arabic. He know who he is. He said Arabic. Now is Arabic a color? Black, black is a color. She said African American, okay. So we got black, African American, Arabic. Watch this. Now, if you, if you bought a plane ticket and you went to go to Arabia, can you do that? Absolutely. If you bought a plane ticket and you went to go to the land called black, can you do that? It don't exist. You see how, you see that? He, he know who he is, watch this. Isaiah. What, what y'all about to witness is biblical prophecy. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox stood his owner. Hey, B, what's the ox? What's the ox? It's an animal, right? Right. An animal, an ox is an animal. It's a big brute. It's actually a dumb animal. Right? We know. In the ass, his master's crib. In what? In the ass, his master's crib. Ass is another word for. Say it again. No, read again for top assistant. The ox knows his owner. The ox knows who he belongs to. Though it's an animal, he knows who his owner is. Read. In the ass, his master's crib. In the ass, which is another word for donkey or jackass, they know who they who they belong to. Right? So you got two animals. We talking about animals. They know who they belong to. Read. But Israel. For who? But Israel. But Israel. The so-called blacks, his family, native Indians. But Israel, read. Do not know. They don't know. That's a problem. Animals know who they are, but the Israelites don't know who they are. Right. Read. My people do not consider. God said, my people do not consider. Meaning they don't even think to find out who they are. Read. Oh sinful nation. He said, oh sinful nation. Read. A people laden with iniquity. A people that just laid with sin. Right. Iniquity is sin. Read. A seed of evildoers. A seed of evildoers. All we do is evil to one another. We sell drugs to one another. We shoot each other down in the street. Break it out. We rob and kill and rape and pimp one another. Evildoers. Read. Children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. Children that are corrupt, corruptors, they forsake the Lord, meaning they close the Bible, they don't care to hear it, they push it away, they don't read it. So being who we were, Aaron, Aaron, which his biblical name is Ishmael, That's right. Ishmael, Ishmael. The promise wasn't given to me. Right. The inheritance was given to you, right. you, you, the children of Israel. That's why we're dealing with y'all. That's why being walked off, being known that this ain't for him. Right. This spirit can bear witness with it. But y'all's spirit can't. And I'm going to prove it to you. Go back to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. The, the book of Deuteronomy chapter. I got a question for y'all three. I think I asked you already. Question to you. What's your name, bro? Jay. And you said, you said your name was what? Kaya. How did your ancestors, your great, 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 great grandfather and grandmother, Get to this side of the earth, this side of the world. Yeah, Transported. How? By what? An airplane or say boat? What type of boat? Ships. Was it a kind of cruise ship? No. See that? A cargo slave ship. Did you know that that's prophesied in the Bible? I got a question about that. Do you hear? How is it not a real Give me the uh, Maccabees. Maccabees. How much? Oh, good question. Right, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Kayana want to know why is it she can come out here and see pictures and images, but when she Google, she can't find them based on our history. That's messed up, right? Watch this. Watch this. The book of 1st Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. Huh? And they open the book of the law. This is the book of the law. The book of the law is the Bible because the Bible has the law, statutes, and commandments in it. Right. So the, he, the other nations, the so-called whites, the so-called Chinese, Japanese, Arabs, they took this Bible, opened it up, and painted their images in it. That's why every time you watch, let's say something like Passion of the Christ or uh, 
The Ten Commandments is always who paying? Who who always paying? They they paying the so-called white man. Yeah. They put themselves in it. And that's why every time you Google something, you don't see these images. You see white images of, of the Holocaust. Are you kidding me? Read what you got. Wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. That's why for many years we grew up thinking that Jesus Christ looked like this. Because they, let me show you something. Come here. You see this dude right here? That's, his name is Leonardo da Vinci. Right, because this was the guy that actually painted this image to portray Christ. To, I mean, excuse me, to be like to, to uh, fool y'all to think that that was Christ. He painted it. He painted the image. He was hired by the Pope, the sixth Pope of Rome. He hired this man to paint Caesar Borgia. Now, this is a real man, but that's not Christ. This is a real homosexual. He used to molest his sister too. His name, his real name is Caesar Borgia. Borgia. Caesar Borgia. All right? They laid open the book of the law and they painted this image. That's why uh, Latino sisters and brothers think that Jesus Christos, which one is Jesus Christos? Watch this. Which one is Jesus Christos? Which one? Watch this. You know, okay, what about you? Right. Just for the record. Come here, I want you to come here. You see this man right here? That's Da Vinci, Leonardo Da Vinci. He's painting a false image of Christ, which is that. He got us thinking that Christ looked like this, when he don't. When you open up the Bible and read it for yourself, the book of Revelation, my brother, what's the root word of Revelation? Uh, reveal. 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 The root word of Revelation is yeah, Israelites. When you go to the book of Revelation, it reveals what Jesus Christos really looked like. Right. All right? We've been touching on that all day. Let's get it. We gotta get it. The book of Revelation, uh -huh. chapter one. Verse one. Verse one. The revelation the of, revealing of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Watch this, read. Verse 10. Uh -huh. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. John the Revelator was in the spirit on the Lord's day. When, when is the Lord's day? Is that again? No, that's what the white man talks that. Huh? Saturday. Right. You may call it Sabbath. No. It's the Sabbath, the seventh day of the week, Saturday. Sunday was pushed on us during slavery. They made us work every day in the cotton field except Sunday. Bring it out. Saturday is the real Sabbath. That's the Lord's day. Because the white man wants you to keep breaking God's laws. Let me show you that real quick. Hold it. Give me Judah. Yes. It's a sin to worship on a Sunday. L listen to the word, Sunday. That's the day that the other nations will worship the sun. That's idolatry. They would look at the sun and worship the sun and pray to the sun. You know who used to do that? The, the ancient Egyptians, the real Africans. They did that. Islam do that now, but they use the crescent moon and the star. You see the half moon and the star? They worship that. The Muslims worship that. That's what being, you know what that being? He worship that. That's what the Arabs worship that. The Arabic, they worship the moon and the star. All right? You got Good Jordan, chapter 5, verse 19. She said, now why they make us worship on Sunday? Watch this. But now are they returned to their God and are come up from the places. Now, where these, these are the heathens talking amongst each other about us. The heathens having a conversation saying, they return to their God. They went back to the Bible. They do what the Bible says do. They talking about us, right? Read. Where they were scattered. And that possessed Jerusalem. He said it was scattered. Because we are all over the world. These slave ships, they didn't just stop here. They stopped in Spain. They stopped in uh, Costa Rica. They stopped in uh, Ghana. They stopped in Guinea Simone. St. Thomas. Puerto Rico as well. Brazil. Brazil. We all over the globe. Read on. Where their sanctuary is. Uh -huh. And are seated in the hill country. Uh -huh. For it was destiny. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, uh -huh. if there be any error in this people. Said, if there be any error, meaning sin amongst the Israelite people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Indians, if there's any sin amongst us, read. And they sin against their God. And if we sin against our God, be that, be that, be that, be that. Check it out. Come here, yes. Let me ask you a question, though. Quick question. Quick question. Be honest. 
Which one of these images that you was taught that was right? This one, right? You was taught that, right? What if we told you that that was a lie? According to the Bible. I know it's hard to, or hard to swallow, but according to the Bible, Christ looked more like this than like this. Watch this, read it real quick. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 14. The root word of Revelation is revealed. We're about to reveal to you what Christ really looked like. His head and his hair were white like wool. Read it again. His head and his hair were white like wool. Does he got white woolly hair? Which one of their hairs got white woolly hair? Which one of this one is white? Now read it. Read it. It is as white as snow. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your children got to hear this. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. Hold on. Why was his eyes like a flame of fire? Because his eyes was red. Because the first miracle Christ performed was turning water into wine. Remember, he turned water into wine out of wet. So Christ drank wine out of moderation. That's why the whites of his eyes turned red. Read on. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his feet. His feet. And the time of John the Revelator. The prophets walked the earth with open toes sandals. They wore open toes sandals. So when John looked at his feet like yours, he said his feet what? Like a to fine brass. Like a to fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Right, read. As if uh -huh. it burned in a furnace. You took brass that's already brown, and you burned it in a furnace. What color would it be? Bring it out. What color would it be? Black. So if Christ keeps black, what color is on? Say excuse me. What's your question, brother? No. Next question. Give me the law. Give me uh, Leviticus 21 and 5. Hey, before y'all leave, I gotta show y'all some law. Alright? Okay. Bro. The book of Leviticus. Listen, I'm trying to ask you. No. You ask the questions and I told you to know. Listen to this. Okay, bro. The this book of The Book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. Uh-huh. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Did you know? According to the Bible, that is a law that the Israelite man, the so-called blacks, the Spanish and Indian man, is not supposed to bald their head, be deliberately, purposely shaved their hair bald like Steve Harvey, Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, Floyd Mayweather, John Sally. You're not supposed to do that. We know. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Neither are you supposed to shave off the corners of your beard. If you're an Israelite man, you can grow a beard, go into the Bible, you're not supposed to shave. When you shave your beard and bald your head, you are in the middle of the sin. You are in the middle of the sin. Alright? You are in the middle of the sin. You didn't know it's like going to be on the green. You know what I'm saying? If you shave your beard, you are in the midst of the sin. Alright? Now, let's get some more laws. Read what you got. First Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also. In like manner also. This is for you, sister. In like manner also. Read. That women, who? that women, you a woman, you a princess, read, adore themselves in modest apparel. What is, what's apparel? Clothes. Clothes. So it says, in like manner also, that women adore, meaning clothe themselves in modest apparel, meaning modest clothing. What is modest? What's modest? What's immodest? My brother, what does the word modest mean? Modest, right, what's modest mean? Say what? I feel that kind of What What does modest mean? Modest. It be mildly dressed. Say it again? Mildly dressed. You say mildly dressed? Not, 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 not seductively. There you go. Seductively, I mean. There you go. Modest means to cover up, not right. reveal your body parts. No. So read it again for my sister. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. In like manner also. So in like manner also, just like how our foremothers used to dress. Used read. To that women adorn themselves. Women clothe themselves. In modest apparel. With modest apparel, meaning you still can look good, yeah. but you got to cover yourself up. No.
you ain't got dressed like a woman. But I'm saying that's the type of clothes they used to wear. That's what they do. So, you say do they got to cover up their body and not show them? I guess it's called modesty. Modesty. What are we learning to dress like this at? Right here in America. I guarantee you, if you go to the other countries, they don't dress like that. Like Arabia, they don't do that. Our foremothers didn't dress like that. In fact, our foremothers was known for their beauty Bring it out. because of the way they used to dress. Oh, oh yeah. They jewelry, oh, they yeah. hair wraps, the way they used to smell, all of that. Marriage day. Give me that real quick. Yeah. In Ezekiel chapter. Uh, yes, you yeah. did. Yeah. I'll see y'all later. All right. Because, sis, sis, let me ask you a question. How old are you? 17. 17. One day, you're going to decide to be married, correct? Now, let me ask you this question. Do you think the right man will come along now you dress like that? Because when he sees you dress like that, what do you think he wants? No, what I'm saying is, when he sees you dress like that, do you think he wants you for your mind or for your body? It can be both, right? But which one is the best? Which one is correct? Most likely. Oh, so which one is most likely? It's most likely to be the body. The body, right? Because he's seen the legs, he's seen the shape, right? Read what you got. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 16, verse 10. Uh -huh. I clothe thee also with broided work. You know, you know what broided work is? They don't, you don't even see me walking around there no more. Look at the back of this. You see that? Look at that. You feel that. It's engraved into the garment. You can touch it. On your shirt, it's smooth. Right? That's not important. That's ironed on. Embroidery comes from man. Read it again. I clothe thee also with broided work. With broided work. Meaning expensive clothing. That's how we used to dress with expensive clothing. Read. And shawl thee with badger skin. Badger skin. That's, today will be your meat. You know what a meat coat is? Meat. That's how we used to dress. Read on. And I girded thee about with fine linen. With what? With fine linen. Fine linen. Linen. A lot of people don't know that linen is a material that actually has life in it. Linen actually breathes. In the summertime, linen is designed to keep you cool. In the summertime, it's designed to keep you warm. I don't know that. Expensive clothes, breathe. And I covered thee with silk. And I covered thee, covered thee with silk. Read on. I get thee also with ornaments. Now we're talking about jewelry. Tell me and, how the women used to wear jewelry, read. And I put bracelets upon thy hands. Our women used to wear bracelets on their hands, read. And I put a chain on thy neck. Beautiful chains. Read. And I put a jewel on thy forehead. Those East Indians you see with the red dot. They stole that from our women. Our women used to have real rubies. Not no little dot, they had a real jewel on their head. That's how our former used to dress for real. Read on. I put a jewel on thy forehead, and earrings in thy ears. Earrings, read. And a beautiful crown upon thy head. Read. Thus was thou shaped with gold and silver. To have real gold and silver rings. And thy raiment was a fine linen and silk. Our clothes was a fine linen and silk. So we dress, our women and our fathers dressed very elegant. Royalty. Read on. In broidered work, thou didn't eat my flour in uh, honey and oil. You do Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. I'm sorry. It says the woman what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. A woman not supposed to wear nothing that pertains to a man. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. That's called cross dressing. Not supposed to do that. Read on. For all that do so, for all that cross dress, read, are abomination all unto the Lord thy God. God calls you abomination to him. All right? That's the blood on my we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. 
The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth